A demand to take action after claims of a hate crime against a Linwood mosque. The local Muslim community wants the FBI to go after the man accused of emailing a bomb threat nearly a month ago. The Cairo 7's Deborah Horn is live in Linwood now with why that man's father says he's not a threat. Debbie. Steve, live outside the Zainab Mosque. Now, according to the Islamic community, this threat has scared those who attend this mosque so much, many are too afraid to come. But the father of the man who set the threat insists his son is harmless. And you do not believe that he is a threat Absolutely to this not. mosque? Absolutely not. We met Craig Stanley on the porch of his Muckle T.O. home. Stanley would not allow us to talk to his 25-year-old son who was inside, but he confirmed that his son sent this email threatening bombs would go off if the Zainab Mosque did not move. His words he thought were taken out of context. He was looking at it from bombing coming from that side, not bombing coming from his side. He says the FBI was here, but the agents gave no indication that his son, whom he describes as a, would be arrested. Absolutely not. They were here for 10 or 15 minutes. They're very nice gentlemen and spoke to him about it. And as far as I was concerned, it was a done deal. We would like to have him arrested. At a news conference, the Council on American Islamic Relations accused the FBI of not taking the threat seriously, even suggesting that the two sides meet. When someone sends a death threat or a bomb threat or a threat to shoot someone, do you have a dinner time meeting with them or do you investigate the issue and do you figure out uh, whether this, this warrants an arrest? I put the question to the FBI. I assure the public that the FBI, together with the Linwood Police Department, has been thoroughly investigating this threat and will continue to do so. A week after emailing the threat, the man sent an apology to this mosque. But the people here say that shows he feels he can contact them at any time, making them even more afraid. Bottom line, they say he should be in custody.